Hello and welcome to this ONDR module video, electric car cost, how much? This is video L002 in our series of Nissan LEAF videos. In this video, we're going to go through the cost comparison spreadsheet um, that helped us justify the purchases of our uh, second hand electric car. So if you're interested in working out what the potential savings would be if you went to an electric vehicle, I've developed a bit of a spreadsheet um, for uh, me to use in justifying my car, but also it's available on our website and through our video uh, for you to look at. So if you go to the video L00, uh, budget electric car, 100 mile commute in an eight year old Nissan Leaf, inside the description, there'll be a link, electric eyes comparison spreadsheet, Click on that, it'll take you to our um, the, uh, the, uh, our spreadsheet. And in here, just a bit of a brief explanation. So the yellow boxes are where you enter all your figures, uh, the number of miles you're gonna use, the efficiency of a current car, the efficiency of the new car, any costs and the rate of uh, charging of your electricity provider. The blue and red figures are the resulting or the results of the calculations from those figures and the black script is basically the standards or the descriptions of the boxes. So starting at the top then, uh, annual mileage, you enter the commuting miles, the miles that you uh, drive backwards and forth to work and there's a section for private or weekend miles. The reason I've split that up is if you're commuting um, there is an opportunity to charge at work your employer may or may not charge you. So I've separated that out here. The percentage of the mileage you actually commute with and you'll, the percentage you're actually gonna be charged for work. This is the work rate here. And then you've got your normal rate here. Some employers are kind enough to uh, give you the electricity for nothing. And there is no uh, tax um, liability. There's no benefit in kind being charged by the UK at the moment. So if say your employer was to give you the electricity you topped up for free, half your community miles are gonna be uh, absolutely zero, which makes a big difference to the justification. Um, the weekend private miles, I've separated that out as well because potentially that isn't affected by any uh, free electricity you're given and also you need to um, uh, split that out down the bottom here, I'll explain later. So the annual mileage, 22,000 miles in my case, is quite a reasonable commute. Uh, 50 miles each way, 46 weeks a year, etc. Um, so the fuel then, comparing it with a current car. So you have here the current car, miles per gallon. I've entered in here my diesel MPG on average. The cost of a litre of diesel at the moment is £1.37 in uh, September uh, 2021. That equates to a massive £2,738 just for the diesel for a year. In comparison, the electric car, we've got the kilowatt hour per mile. Now, this is a standard stated by uh, Nissan. It's rated at 0 0.265 kilowatts per mile or 3.77 miles per kilowatt. Bear in mind that most Nissan Leafs, as I've actually purchased, are running about four 4.1, 4.4. So you can get a lot more efficient in this figure, but it's a good figure to start with if you're trying to justify the car. Then we've got the section here, as we spoke about before, where you were charging, at work, how many miles you're charging. This figure here can be altered. I put it at 0 0.5, so half the commute, i.e. 10,000 miles is done uh, by charging at work. So the cost of that is zero if your employer uh, doesn't charge you, you can put a figure in there if they are going to charge you something. So you give it a cost. So you're going to save anywhere. If you if you were to pay for that, if your car had enough miles to do there and back, you're going to have a saving about £1,500 uh, in fuel if you get the the, the uh, electric for free, few, uh, for the, the electric uh, charging at work for free you got a saving of, of another £600, £2,100. And that's just the fuel then. So you're going to save approximately 10 pence per mile. If they do charge, say at normal household rate, it's going to be down to 7 pence a mile, but it's still a big saving. 
looking at the other elements of car ownership, the running costs, I've broken that down here because there is some benefits there. The road tax, the servicing cost every 10,000 miles, the insurance, the cost of four tyres every 20,000 miles. And these figures are all uh, calculated pr annually or pro rata with the, the mileage. So in case of my current car, it's £200 a year for the road tax. Servicing, which I do myself in parts, is about £80 every 10,000 miles. So I'm going to do that at least twice a year, the current mileage. The insurance is about £250 a year and the tyres are 300 for a set every 20,000 miles. Electric car, there isn't any road tax. The servicing costs are negligible. Uh, I think there's only a pollen filter needed for the leaf. But there's lots of checks and brakes, etc. So there may be some bigger costs coming, but I haven't included those in the uh, the ice car either because you've got br you've got uh, brakes the same as a uh, electric car, but you've also got clutches, turbos, etc., which are all a bit of a liability. The insurance was slightly cheaper, and the tyres I think will be slightly cheaper, if not the same. So looking conservatively, you're looking at a saving of three hundred and sixty-eight pounds just in running costs which all helps. Finally, the depreciation, which as I say is the biggest cost in car ownership for most cars. Uh, in the case of my spreadsheet, I'm looking at cars uh, below £10,000, so the depreciation is mainly gone. So my current car, if I was to buy a new one, I'd probably spend the £6,000, similar to what I spent on the current electric car. Based over two years, I think I could probably sell that car with 50,000 extra miles on an ICE car probably for about 2500 and the electric car maybe for 4000 or higher as, this, as electric cars seem to be rising at the moment. Uh, roughly that uh, depreciation is calculated on uh, for ICE cars at 9 pence per mile and electric cars at 5 pence. Obviously it's a very rough estimate uh, based on uh, quite low value cars. If that is correct, I'm going to save about £750 just on the depreciation or lack of depreciation in an electric car. What you have to remember is electric cars are fundamentally different to ICE cars in that when they come to the end of their life, the battery still has some value. It isn't a liability, as was first thought. It's actually an asset. And the batteries are worth some money. The car could be repurposed. You could add a new battery and have a new lease of life. So the depreciation is less. So overall... I'm estimating that I could save anywhere between two and a half to three thousand pounds per year uh, based on uh, these sort of rates. Um, there is different charging rates for electricity. I've included that in the bottom here. So um, this is a single day rate I'm currently using. I say it's uh, just over nineteen pence per kilowatt hour. The annual usage in our house, I've got a big household with kids, it's about 3,500 kilowatts hours per year. So overall, the overall electric bill, we're expecting it to be at home to be £1,326 with the uh, the car. If I went to, say, an Economy 7, uh, basically it's, ch it's cheap rate for seven hours at night, I'm thinking I'll probably still end up doing the private weekend miles uh, charging during the day and obviously the 3,500 um, house usage uh, electricity in the day. Uh, but the commute, the 10,000 miles, I'll pr probably get that done within charging most of it within the seven hours. So this is based on having a granny charger. So that would save a marginal £87 um, uh, per year on the electricity rate. It's still a saving. However, if I went to, say, an Octopus Co, a cheaper night rate of four hours, they're offering five pence per kilowatt hour for four hours. I think it's between a half past midnight and 4.30 in the morning. Now, if I was to get uh, invest in a uh, seven kilowatt charger, which obviously has some cost, I think they're roughly 500 pounds fitted of that sort of order, for a decent one with a solar panel and um, Bluetooth, etc. You're looking at the saving there, because I'll probably be able to, because of the speed of it, I'll probably be able to uh, charge fully half the half of my commute plus the private miles in the evenings. So I'm only really um, uh, having the higher rate for the house electricity use. 
and you get a saving of uh, two hundred and sixty-two pounds a year. So within a couple of years, you'll actually pay for the uh, the seven kilowatt charger itself. So there you go. There's a bit of a uh, cost saving spreadsheet um, with a few electricity rates for you to work out, give you some idea how you can save money. But on the basis of my uh, costing calculations with the leaf, if the leaf can last two years, I mean, obviously the batteries do degrade over time. It's not 100% clear whether that'll actually happen. I potentially will save um, £3,225. So the leaf will have actually paid for itself within probably less than two years but again it still has some residual value so i don't see where you can go wrong um, if you want to watch the video you can just click on this link here and it'll take you directly back to the video well i hope you enjoyed that video i hope you found that informative if you're either you have an ev or you're looking to buy one um, i think the that spreadsheet should help you to quantify the costs and the the savings. Um, please um, uh, like, press the thumbs up if you like the video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe if you'd like to see more XK8 and Nissan Leaf videos.